but I don't think he'd be a very good police officer. I think he's got some uh, got some issues. As the investigation into the Manaway, Utah police chief continues, we're learning something about what happened when the chief lived in Nevada. I'm Fox 13 investigative reporter Nate Carlisle. Earlier this month, we told you how Dakota Midkiff, the police chief in Manaway, was on paid leave while the town investigates his arrest of a 76-year-old man. The arrest left that man bloodied and bruised. It turns out Midkiff, the police chief, has a criminal history himself. I was driving to go pick up my wife. William Copper lives near Elko, Nevada. It's about, I don't know, 11.45. I got pulled over by a white, um, a white vehicle. It had red and blue lights on top. According to court records obtained by Fox 13, it was Midkiff who pulled Copper over that night back in 2013. Him and his buddy got out of the car and uh, they walked up, started harassing me. But Midkiff was not a police officer back then. He had earlier worked in private security and drove a sedan with a flashing light bar on top. And uh, some to the effect that I said, uh, I don't see a badge on you. And he said, I don't have to, I don't have to show you an effing badge. I said, well, I need to see a badge. And he said, I ought to just shoot you. Copper says Midkiff and his passengers detained him for about 30 minutes. And they said, well, you're not the guy we're looking for, so we're going to have to let you go. So I come to town and then I called the uh, Elko County Sheriff's Department. According to a sheriff's office report, Midkiff told a real deputy Copper was driving fast and he knew the sheriff was short staffed. Midkiff was charged with misdemeanor counts of disturbing the peace and impersonating an officer. That second count was dismissed in a plea bargain. Midkiff pleaded guilty to disturbing the peace and a judge sentenced him to 48 hours in the Elko County Jail. When Fox 13 asked Midkiff for an interview this week, he instead pointed to statements he gave the Box Elder Journal when it asked him about his convictions in 2022. He told the newspaper, in part, I believe I was only 20 years old at the time and have since learned from all my past mistakes. It was not right for me to have behaved that way, and I take full responsibility for my actions. What did you think when you heard that uh, Midkiff was a police officer in Utah? Somebody in Utah screwed up. Misdemeanor convictions are not enough to prevent someone from becoming a peace officer in Utah, though they can create a waiting period before one applies to the state's police academy. And individual police forces are free to consider such histories before hiring someone. Public records show Midkiff worked for the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office beginning in 2020 and for Wendover Police before joining Manaway in 2022. In the studio, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News. Utah.